That is all this is. Oh, the, 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 the decision he made here to send him off has got nothing to do with the game of football. It's got to do yeah. with sitting at a table, reading the rules of the game, and then just, um, just implicating what it says on the page. What if, the not, moment, what if, what if it was 10 minutes apart, though? Game. What if it was 10 minutes Tr apart? It's a completely different question. They're not 10 minutes apart. Tr the fact Tr is, as, as Don's point about the first one he doesn't know, the reason that if it's 10 minutes apart, you've no sympathy because he's already on a yellow. Right. Chaka? Mm. Uh, to, to, to that point, uh, again, this is another one of those foibles, another one of those where your football heart <laughs> says something differently. Uh, I, I disagree with Don. I think both challenges were yellow card offences. And what? had they happened in, in separate... Mo I, let me just finish. Had they happened in, in separate moments of the game, I don't think anybody would complain. But with them happening in the, in the, same, in the same passage of play, so to speak, nobody involved in the game would have a problem with the referee just showing one yellow for that. Um, this is kind of, uh, as, as, as Jan put it, another aspect of that same conversation we were just having about the challenge on, on Salah. Don, you were nodding there. No, I was nodding because Shaka, in the end, I think, sort of sided with me. He said he wasn't going to side with me. <laughs> then he all of a sudden he said, I think it was just a yellow card, just one, not the two. So I'm confused, Shaka. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm confused as well that you think Shaka agreed with you. I, 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 I think both incidents, I, I think both both incidents by Martinelli were yeah. deserving of a yellow card. Yes. But in in the foibles to use TV's nerd fo word foibles to use Jan's footballing heart, with them happening in the same play, anybody involved in the game would have no problem with it being just one yellow card. Yes. But by How the many strictest now? interpretation of the law. But by the strictest interpretation of the law, the, the, I, the referee did what I, I guess he, he had to, but our footballing heart says something totally different. Okay, how, how, is, how many people around the world now are Googling foibles? What does foibles mean? Because I am. <laughs> I, I, I just but, did. I just, I just did, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Doc. It's, it's, it's quite interesting when you see, I think that a referee you need, you, when I watch a football game, I always try to watch the people in and around. How, how, how do the, 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 your teammates react? How do the opposition react? I mean, there will be no one here if he gave one yellow. There will be no Wolves player running to the referees mm -hmm. saying, why don't you give him two yellows? This incident mm -hmm. before, as Stevie, I mean, as Stevie has been around since the Second World War, and he has never seen it before. <laughs> and, 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 and the Wolves player and the Wolves player will never go over and say, no, 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 that is one yellow, two for few, you need one, two. And that will never happen. So I think that is, again, our football heart. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, uh, uh, again, uh, two interesting incidents today with um, different um, uh, opinions on. Uh, in the end, though, they saw it through. It was Arsenal's first win of 2022. It was actually their first goal since New Year's Day as well. But if you actually look at the odds to finish in the top four, uh, this is what we're seeing here. Seven to four for Arsenal. And as mentioned, they're up to fifth in the league with this win. They've got two games in hand on fourth place West Ham and they're just a point behind them. In fact, United and Arsenal are favourites to finish in the top four. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.